Welcome to my channel, where I will take you to some places, let you see my new toys and stuff, and reviews. Stand the man! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be about um, me teaching you guys how to use Google Classroom. And Google Classroom is very important, especially with online classes um, on the way. And um, it's really good to know about um, online learning platforms that your academy or school may use. So I am going to teach you um, the three steps or the only three things you need to know about Google Classroom. That's how easy it is, but um, sometimes um, it's a little complicated, but I know guys, you will get used to it. Okay guys, so here I turned on my laptop. Okay, so there. And let us start the tutorial. So click Google Chrome. If you don't have Google um, if you don't have Google Chrome, you can install the app or you can um, do it in Safari if you have a MacBook or another kind of laptop. Okay, so search classroom.google.com. Since I already searched it, it's already here, but let me just um, show you guys. Okay, so click that classroom.google.com and when you see the word Google Classroom here, click it and there I have entered Google Classroom. Okay, so um, this is my class, the test class. So to go there, click the line, line, line here at the top left. And um, click whatever the name of your class is. So there, this is my test class. And there. So the first step. Okay, so let's do homework first because, you know, it's more complicated than, than answering a question from the teacher. So, they will the teacher will post the question here at stream. Remember to click stream and click the homework or the assignment. So, there. Okay. So... To answer it, click this, the file itself, and you will see something like this. Okay, so how to edit or answer this? So if you see at the top, you will um, see open with and then an, an arrow pointing down, click it. And you will see connected apps, Doc Hub, PDF Sign and Edit, or Google Docs. So click Doc Hub or Google Docs. So I'll just click Doc Hub. If you're going to use Doc Hub, make sure you have this app called the Acrobat Reader. I will show you the way of editing it in Doc Hub. Okay, so how to add some text so if you will see an A here click that and um, there will be a small letter A and then just put it wherever you want it to be and now you can type whatever you want okay so let me just delete that and if you want to highlight something 
click highlight and I picked red as the highlight color so you have to drag it and I highlighted it so it's it's a line but you can make it thicker if you want to highlight the whole word okay so next if you want to check something um, if if there's uh, a checkbox you can click stamp and then there's a check so click it where you want it to be so click and it will be there click 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 okay so there if you want to underline something um, click draw freehand and underline it so it will be a bit hard to underline here or draw freehand in a laptop so um, it may look weird so I just underlined it like that so it looks weird yeah okay so if you're done with your work add or create and uh, um, a file and you can select the files from the device so that's why you have to download um, the file so there so there and if you want to submit it there choose the file and if you want to resubmit so add or create and then resubmit but I don't really recommend you guys to resubmit your homework or your work okay so if you want to answer a question or another assignment from another teacher go to the name of your class click it and you're in stream again so there's a question here and I will teach you guys how to answer it okay so I already turned in so um, okay so it's already turned in so what you have to do is to just type the answer and it um, and click turned in so I already turned it in and class meets answers but I don't really um, recommend you guys to do that too okay so next Chatting with the class is here, so share something with your class. And um, doing this for a video call, make sure to go to um, stream. So there will be something beside your Google account. And this is called Google Apps. So um, search Google Meet and it's here. And there, start a meeting or enter meeting code. So an entering a meeting code is for joining. And the teacher may send you the meeting code for you guys to join a meeting. Okay, so if you want to start a meeting, click start a meeting. And there, so I just turned off the camera because, you know, yeah I, I turned off the camera okay so click present if you want to present something and um, if you want to share the file um, just click it and there you're presenting already in Google meet if you want to um, stop presenting click stop presenting and if you want to cancel their presentation audio click and there stop presenting if you want to um, leave the call, just click decline or leave call. And there. So the choices now here are rejoin and return to home screen. So it's a bit simple, but it is something really helpful in your classes. Okay, so last but not the least.
So if you want to check um, what other homework you need to do or other questions you need to answer, click the line, line, line at the top left. Click to do. And you will see all classes. So since I have no work to do, it says, woohoo, no work to do. And if you want to um, see what are done already, it's there. So it's turned in, but um, there's no score yet. So it's just turned in when there's no score. When there's a score, it would appear here at the right side of the bar where um, the name of the homework or the question is. Okay, so that's it. So guys, that is it for this video. Those are all the things that you need to know about Google Classroom. So there are only a few things you need to know, but um, you really have to discover more about these kinds of online learning platforms to um, be already used to doing it and you don't need to learn the whole thing if you you know have an orientation in your school about the online classes okay so that is it for today thank you for watching and if you want me to make more videos like this or different kinds of tutorials please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell button to be notified about my new videos and my videos may come every week so thank you for watching and please stay safe and stay home see you on my next one bye